Welcome back. All right, so you probably have questions about branched chain amino acids. What should you look for? I'm gonna give you some cues because I've been in the supplement space for over 12 years professionally. So some things you wanna look for is glutamine free, okay? Uh, glutamine free, okay? Now you're, you might be thinking, well, why would I want a glutamine free branched chain amino acid product? And I'll share with you some research from Baylor University. This is a Dr. Wolf at Baylor has found that, guess what, L-leucine and glutamine compete for absorption. So you actually wanna have arginine in your branched chain amino acid. And again, there's tons. Uh, so, so you want this, you don't want that plus minus. Let's just, you know, we don't want glutamine. So arginine can facilitate the absorption of leucine, okay? So when it comes to your branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, leucine is gonna be the big driver of, as you know, this whole mTOR and muscle protein signaling cascade, leucine helps there. So what you want here in leucine, okay, uh, you want around 1.5 grams per dose, okay? And so that's, we're giving you 1.6 grams in the myobolic BCAA formula, which by the way, has human published research on this exact formula. Okay, that, so that's what's unique. So we've partnered with the researcher out of Baylor University, Dr. Wolf, as I mentioned. He's published a ton, over I think over 120 articles in the field of muscle protein synthesis and amino acid metabolism. So this is the formula that he's utilized and figured out that even in individuals that are bedridden, so they're prone to muscle wasting, uh, individuals that are young, athletic, and so forth, that this formula tends to optimize muscle health, okay? So that's what's unique. A lot of companies in the marketplace just throw in a bunch of amino acids together and say, hey, see, he, see, here's our branched chain amino acid formula. We put in all the hot stuff. We put in glutamine, we put in creatine, we put in leucine, but this is based on research. So that's one thing that kind of separates myosciences from other companies is we're focusing on giving you and supplying you uh, ingredients and, and nutritional formulas that are based upon science, okay? And so again, it's Dr. Wolf uh, over at Baylor University. I'll put links to some of the articles that he's published, some of the many articles that he's published over the years. And again, just to summarize, I wanna focus on, uh, uh, this is standard and given, no synthetic sweeteners, no synthetic stabilizers, okay? You want at least 1.5 grams of leucine per serving. You wanna have arginine and you don't want glutamine. And this is where the research on branched chain amino acids can be a little bit, you know, different based upon where you, see, you know, some people say, well, there's no research on this. And so sometimes because the formula they're using may have say glutamine in it, maybe lack arginine or doesn't have sufficient amounts of leucine. But it goes without doubt, there's double blind randomized placebo controlled trials supporting the idea that 1.5 grams of leucine in a bolus dose or more can improve musculoskeletal health in bedridden individuals and young athletes. So keep that in mind. Uh, as always, we recommend getting leucine from your diet, from real whole food, from you know, buffalo, bison, meat, venison, elk, things along those lines. But in the post-workout window, you can do yourself uh, good by taking at least 1.5 grams of leucine in the form of myobolic branched chain amino acid. So, that's what we're offering to you guys. As always, I would love to know your feedback, your comments, your questions on this formula. I'll be following the questions below this video and also I'll post the research articles uh, from Dr. Wolf, like we mentioned, that were published at Baylor University. Thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.